and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at the all new 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander in an XLE in black. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 265 horsepower and 310 pound foot of torque. Of course, up front here, we have the LED headlights and customary daytime running lights. If you look closely, you may notice this one unit does have 3M on the front end. We have our alloy wheels and then side mirrors here with integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. Rear windows do come with factory tinting. And looking up top, you'll see you have your beautiful silver roof rails. As we come up to the back here on the right hand corner, of course, we have our trim level badging. That beautiful Grand Highlander badging across the back. And to open up your rear, or actually quickly first, if you look under your logo, you'll be able to find your backup camera. And right next to that, right here, is your button to open up your cargo space. So reach under and give it a press. So looking inside here, you'll see that we have both a third and second row seating. The second row comes in a 40-20-40 split, and the third row is a 60-40. This allows you to put your seats up or down to expand your cargo space forward. One of the big differences that comes with this 2024 Grand Highlander is compared to the third row seating in a regular Highlander, there is considerably more foot room for your rear passengers as well as headroom. So the third, third seat passengers do not feel cramped in the back there. We of course have accommodations for both chargers as well as cup holders. And you'll notice this additional little indent. It is visible on both sides. This holds the cargo cover, which pops in there, and they can fully stretch outwards and click into these little hoops on either side. This allows you to pull it outwards and keep it fully covered. Anything that you're storing in the back is now private from any prying eyes. In the back here, if you're looking for your spare tire kit, simply look down and find this tab, lift it up, and everything you'll need will be right underneath. I know it looks a little bit barren now, but we will have all of your tools back here. This long piece in the back is that interior cargo cover, and you'll be able to fully access your spare tire through here as well. Do close up your rear hatch space back here. Simply look upwards on the right-hand side. There is a handle or the electronic buttons. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So, looking back here, you'll find that your internal upholstery is this lovely black leatherette soft text. The seats are adjustable in order to access that third row seating space back here. Of course, in the middle, we do have a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which easily folds away to increase your seating space. On the back of both the front passenger and driver seats, we do have pouch storage. And in the back of the console, you have your own separate air conditioning control and then charging spaces, including a 12 volt. Currently, we have the Grand Highlander carpet mats throughout the unit. Large amount of storage inside the rear doors here. And some of those beautiful built-in sunshades pops up. Whoop. Clicks into place, easy peasy, and then just as easily comes back down and is fully smooth in the side of the door. Take a look at your handle, you'll find this little indent on the left hand side indicating this is keyless entry. You can tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside the driver's door panel we have the power windows for front, back, and child safety lock, power lock system, and your side mirror controls. Front driver's seat is electronically adjustable, back, front, up, down, and your lumbar support. A view of those Grand Highlander carpeted mats. On the bottom left hand side of your dash you have the controls for the release of your gas compartment and hood release latch. Above that, the controls for your headlamps, heated leather steering wheel, and cargo release. We also have your odometer trip and dash brightness just up top. Hop in here and take a look at your steering wheel. Left hand side, up top, controls for your dash display, hands free communication, and your volume control. On the right hand side, we have your radio controls and then adaptive cruise control up top, including your sonar and your lane departures. In the middle here is your infotainment center. This is where you access much of the information 
about your daily driving experience, including viewing your front and rear climate options, your optional navigation, and all of your audio listening. As you can see, this unit has AM, FM, and satellite radio. It also comes with full Bluetooth connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and an optional USB port. Under there, Climate Control Center, we have the dual climate control so that you and your front passenger can use them in uh, their own separate settings or sync them up to work in unison. Of course, you have the option to control your rear climate through here or you can leave it up to them with their own control panel back there. We then have your defrost for front and rear windshield and side mirrors, as well as the tri-leveled front heated seats. Under there, we have your push start ignition on the left hand side. Then in the middle is your charging ports in both these spaces. Nice little storage spaces back here, including some texturing with this helping to keep things from moving around too quickly. You'll notice we have this little glowing dot right here. This indicates that this black pad behind it is in fact a wireless charging pad compatible with all wireless charging devices. Behind that, we have a large amount of storage spaces for cups, your parking options, traction controls, and then all your drive modes are located at the back right next to your console space. On the front dash that runs across here, good amount of space and then an additional charger on the right hand side. Looking upwards on your rear view mirror, you have these buttons with one, two or three dots. Those are your garage door openers. Over top of that, you have your sunglasses compartment, controls for overhead lighting, your SOS button there as well. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander XLE in the color black. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.